If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm Richard, and we're going to be opening up G G <laughs> DBT-07 Raging Flames Against the Emerald Storm. So this is the set with the new Dread Jewel support, the new Crossover Dress support, and the new Youth Burke support as well. So this uh, is a pretty... Uh, sought after set in the meta right now. So this is for standard as well, in case you know you didn't know. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, break this open in a sec. So kind of showing the same two units on the side. So all the different rarities you can get and the different types. And there's 16 packs and then there should be at least seven cards per pack. So yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, Jump right into this. Go ahead and get my keys to uh, dig in there. Here we go. All right, got that unpackaged. Pop this open. So we've got our little promotional. Uh, thing here for the Will Dress anime, for Vanguard Zero and Groovy and Bang Dreams. Every box is one of those, and we got a little little note card. So this is supposed to be for, you know, taking notes uh, supposedly. But this is so cute. Why would you want to ruin it? The Michiro one. So that's pretty cool. I actually really like this a lot. So a little collectible thing you can get. There's probably one of each of the characters. Probably one of uh, Yu Yu as well. So. I have to look in to see how many different ones there are, but this one's pretty cool. I like this a lot. All right. So we also got different artwork for each of the packs. We got different between Yu Yu and Michiru, kind of going back and forth. So we got should be eight here. Yep. There should be eight on the other side. Yep. Awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into these. Real quick, I want to say a quick shout out to 50 Cards for getting me this box. And I want to just kind of let everyone know that if you're looking to update your deck and you're looking to kind of get some cards for future sets, I know that the splits for uh, DBT or 9 are already out as of this video. So I highly recommend going to 50 Cards and looking at the, the playset splits they have available for updating your deck. It's one of the easiest ways to get the cards that you need for upcoming sets and they're just a really great vendor to work with and they always get your stuff out on time and they, there's different waves of support as well if you missed out on the first or second depending on demand there might be a third wave highly recommending guys checking that out as well all right and without further ado let's just go ahead and open these up all right starting off that first pack and just as a quick reminder, if you don't already know, there's usually three triple R and an SP, so per box. So we should be guaranteed an SP in this box. So that's a shiny card right there, Mona. And our first triple R, Dragon Empire. This is Silent Crow. When it's placed on rear by a card ability, it gets 5K. And then when your opponent's rear guard in the same column as this unit is retired by a card ability, Encounter Blast 1 to draw. So, uh, don't really know exactly. This seems like Eugene support. I'm not gonna lie, just because of stuff being retired and the extra draw going with that must be, must be nice. And then placed by card ability, Eugene's ability, but uh, it does have some uh, Nubatama slash Murakumo aesthetic in there as well. So, there might be some premium synergy as well. All right, on to the next pack. Too common. That is a weird looking card. <laughs> oh, cool. We got the world original. This is the Dark States Over Trigger. So it's the same effect as the uh, Gilgamald, or however it's pronounced. But this one is, oh, I can barely read that. Terrifying Wicked Dragon King Vamiris. Another card that makes it difficult to pronounce, but it's got the same additional effect. 
So during your turn, all your vanguards get uh, an extra 10k and a crit until the end of this fight. So that just kind of makes it really, really busted for the rest of the game. So, uh, but yeah, that's cool. So we got. So I don't know if that's guaranteed one per box. I don't think so. But I hope that doesn't take up my SP slot. <laughs> Or maybe it does, and it's, you know, it's just a, a nice pull. So we're going to set that aside for now. We're going to pack number, oop, a little stuck there. Three. This one's tough. Wow. That one's glued in there. All right. Prayer Dragon's in there, some Keter cards. This card's actually pretty decent uh, with Leon, just because it helps uh, give stuff boost. The new mechanic for our, everyone's favorite vampire CEO from Brantgate. Uh, this is a set order product, so it can call itself from the order zone to the rear guard circle. And a rare, that's uh, if you have a grade three in your soul, this gets boost. So it's a pretty decent 10k booster there. Moving on. Sorrow, and this is a Eugene support. It quite literally says if you have a Vanguard Eugene in its name, you get the Soul Charge uh, crossover dress support that I don't think anyone's really going to use. And a rare for it looks like Magnolia from row uh, when you're the unit same column as this attack, get 10k. Yeah, it's just another, another beat stick for Magnolia. On to the next pack. So we still got two triple R and I'm hoping we didn't lose the SP. That was Overlord support. This is very obviously Barrow Magni support. Uh, what's wrong Onyx? What do you need? Where is she? <laughs> uh, the Vanguard's great through great eight. So honestly, it could be anything. Uh, if you have three more grade threes, that's Bastion support. Whoa, look at, oh, that's awesome. We got a flame rare for Sequana. So during your turn, if you have Vanguard Youth Burke in its name, this gets 2k. And then when a unit's placed on Vam by the uh, Rebel Dress ability, you can put this into your soul and your Vanguard's increase or decreases uh, its drive to one. So you can kind of combo this off with any of the uh, Rebel forms, but mostly with Gust, you can, I'm assuming you can do this first and then give it an extra drive so it gets Twin Drive again. So that's really cool. And uh, Rare, non Nataria. This, um, this is definitely a Bastion card. Well, it also says Bastion right there. When it's placed on, whoa. When it's placed on rear, if you have a Vanguard with Bastion its name, kind of plus one, choose up to one grade three from your hand. Call to rear if you called. If you have five or more car, five or more units, you get to draw another card. So it's just more field building and advantage. And then during your turn, if you have six more units, this gets boost. So all, all the Bastion cards are just getting boost these days. But that's that's quite the pull right here. This thing, this is that's that's a money card right there. That's cool. All right, on to the next pack. more commons. This thing is still weird to me. Ferocious Hunter. Ooh, what are you? You are a triple R. When this unit is placed on rear from hand, if your vanguard is grade three or greater, can I plus one, soul plus one, discard top three of your deck, choose a card from your drop, call it to rear if it's a grade two or less, put it into your hand, and it's the same card name as your Vanguard. Oh, this is this is really good generic support in general. This is this is nice. It's a really good card. All right, so so far, uh, I'm pretty sure we've just jumped into two triple R's if I'm counting correctly. So let's just uh, keep going from here. Getting these commons out of the way. Uh, order card for looks like Lanorn and reprinted draw trigger. Okay, so 
uh, these triggers, I'm pretty sure the draw and the front are both being, and the crit actually, all the skill triggers will be reprinted in this set. Um, but that's actually a lot of triggers to be reprinting, so I don't know if anyone's gonna get full ratios from their cases. Uh, but I, it is nice to have these in circulation again. going. This uh, Ferengar's crit is to a greater attack. This definitely looks like PBO support. Blackbird support. That's probably Barrow support. Uh, Bastion support, but it's a grade one, so is it really Bastion support? Uh, Dragon Empire, that's Eugene support, and it's also really funny in Tachikaze for premium, and Triple R for Bastion. Most attacks, if you have six or more grade three or greater units, counter blast one, this unit attack will hit regardless of the power of your opponent's uh, guardians. It's not three or greater. If the sun grades of your opponent's guardians is not three or greater. So basically, even if your opponent gets an over trigger, this is gonna hit because it doesn't take account into power. It will hit if your opponent does not put down a grade three into their guard circle. So it's actually kind of nice that this can get past the over trigger. All right, so that was three triple R, and I'm hopefully hoping that that uh, little original trigger did not count as the SP. So let's just go ahead and uh, keep going and see what we get. More uh, operation or operating orders. This thing is still weird. Blackbird support, uh, prayer dragons, and that I'm pretty sure that's Magnolia support when it's placed on rear. So bless two, one of the same column gets. 10k, okay, it's kind of generic, uh, but it looks like it's meant to be for Magnolia. Oh, come on, these, uh, these packs are, are sealed tight. All right. Generic Hunter card, PBO support, Flagbirds. We're getting a lot, I've seen that Flagbird card a lot. Fashion support, uh, mobile operation support. And double R. This thing is really, really good for Flagbird. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked. If it is the second battle of that turn, you can. If you have a stand Vanguard with Flagbirds in the name Soul Blast One, stand this and it gets 5k. So this is really good, except for the part where Flagbird doesn't really have like a consistent Soul Charge support. So you kind of have to run that Stoicaea card that Soul Charge is too, if you really want to make use of this card. But I'm pretty sure this is like a, a two of in Flagbird, but it's still a really, really good card. We moving at a pretty good pace here. Uh, keep it going. Let's see what we got there. Dragon Empire. That's that's just a really cool art for the starter. I like that a lot. Kind of gives me Gear Chronicle vibes. Uh, more mobile support. That's probably Dredgeal support. Maybe it's uh, what was this do? Put. So your soul, look at the top two cards of your deck, choose the one one called a rear. This is probably Jadul support, it looks like, but like, I don't know if anyone's really gonna use it. Could be barrel support as well. That's definitely a Gravidia card. So that's Gravidia support and it's a double R. Uh, reveal the top of your deck, put it in your war zone. If it's a meteorite, put it on the bottom of your deck, it's not. That's not bad, but I don't really know if Gravidia needs this. It's not bad, but. I feel like there's better Gravidia cards you can run instead, just for the sake of consistency. But I'm, uh, I'm not exactly 100% sure on that. That's definitely more Flagbird support. This is very generic. This is Keter Control. Uh, another Fortress. This looks like uh, just generic support. Once it's placed on rear from Soul, it's Barrel support for sure. You get to Soul Charge and it gets 10k. That's not bad. Another cannon, that's Dredgeul support for sure, and we've got a Brankate crit, nice. Right. Pack fourth to last. Like I said, I'm assuming we got through all the high rarities already, so these are probably just gonna end up being double R's and um, commons and rares. Kind of got through all the good stuff already. Dredgeul support and double R, Barrow Magni support. If you have Arrow Barrow, it gets 2k for each card in your soul. So that's not bad. 2k grade two. Huh. All right. Sure, a 2k grade two. 
So I guess if you have the 13 in soul, that puts you at 28. It's not bad. All right, what we got? What is this thing? When it's placed on guard, your vanguard's being attacked. Comes when it gets 5k for every two units on your van or rear. It's not terrible. More mobile support. That's the grade two for the ride line. Generic support. That's the starter. Flame rare of that generic uh, Dark States card. The one where kind of, I feel like this is this has to be dredgeal support, but I'm not sure. Just because it goes into the soul. And you can look at the top two and pick something. So I feel like this kind of helps you get keep the consistency of the grades just for Dredjewels skill. And speaking of Dredjewels, this card is insanely good. Uh, is that a fourth triple R? Maybe I miscounted. Uh, when this attacks a grade three or greater unit, uh, if you have a soul of four or more different grades, it gets 10k. And then when you soul blast four or more different grades, for your Vanguard's ability, if your opponent's at grade three, you can counter blast to restand this. So if you had two on the front row, you can just counter blast two and you can just get five attacks. Uh, and then if you have the soul remaining to for the top skill, you can have them both be 20k, 30k if it's Persona Ride. Wow, that was pretty cool. Got that flame rear on the side as well. We guess still got two packs. So the possibility of an SP, maybe. If I got four triple R's, maybe there's a chance. AG support, Barrow support, the ride line, that guard card. Uh, that's a Gravidia card, and that card's not bad just because it's got Battle Door. All right, so that was a very uh, generic pack. This is the last pack. So hopefully after uh, we go through this, we go, kind of go through the rarities and see what we got. That's the starter for the new operator thing, I'm pretty sure. A beater, uh, product support, flagbird support, generic sister support, and a rare for Dragon Empire. I'm gonna do a Nirvana, but it's not a prayer dragon, so yeah. Okay, so let's just kind of go ahead and figure out what my rarities are. All right, so kind of working our way from, kind of working our way down to up, I wanna say is, uh, I'm just gonna start off by mentioning that for this box, I got two of the skill triggers. So I know that there's the crit, the fronts, and the draws. So maybe it's two per box. So that'd be something to keep in mind when you're getting a box. You will maybe, most likely I'm assuming, getting two of the reprints for the triggers. So you just kind of want to keep that on the side for a sec. Then I'm going to move on to double rares. So we got Gravidia support, Bastion support, Eugene support, Flagbird support, and Barrow Magni support. Um, Decent cards. This card's still funny to me because it has 2k. This is a sought after card for sure for Flagbird. If you're a Eugene player, you definitely probably want to be running this. This is a great card in Bastion. And this thing, I mentioned I don't really know if it's going to be used in Gravidia, but again, I don't really pay, play the deck, so I don't know if the deck needs the shield that much. Um, just because it's just an extra 5k shield and it just kind of reveals the top. If it is a meteorite, you know, you can get it. If it's not, it's not. Uh, I guess a free meteorite, it's a free meteorite, right? So maybe you do play it. So that was it for double R's. Gonna kind of move those out of the way for a sec because we're gonna move on to our flame rares, which we got two of. So that's the card where I'm pretty sure it felt more like it was dry jewel support. And then we also got the flame rare for youth Burke. This is also really, it's like an $8 card right now. Uh, the flame rare, I have no idea how much it goes for, but I know this card is uh, for sure ran in youth Burke, so. This is, a, this, is a, this is a cool find. Definitely like that. Uh, real quick, the World Original, or where, however it's called, the World uh, Order. This is for like English edition only, I'm pretty sure, but it's just a copy of the, um, the Dark States Over Trigger. It's the exact same effect, but it's got an alternate art, and it's a text box list, and it doesn't include like how Over Triggers work, so it's a cool uh, alternative to run. And then we got four triple R's, so no SP, so I'm assuming this took the spot of my SP. Uh, we got the Dragul triple R, the one that restands. The Bastion card, basically, because you need six grade threes, uh, the one that hits no matter what. This is a generic uh, Stoicae card, but it seems like it's like really, really good Zorga support since it works with the drop zone as well. Um, 
I don't really know exactly what else this works with, but this just seems like a really good generic grade three. And this thing, which I'm kind of surprised is a triple R. Maybe there's something I'm not really seeing, but it's just when it's placed by a card ability, it gets 5K. And then if an opponent's rear guard in the same clones retired, you can count plus one to draw. Seems okay. Don't really know if it's triple R worthy, but uh, you know, here it is. Maybe there's some plays that you can make with Eugene or so, or an Overlord deck just to kind of combo off the board control there. So that was it for the box. Uh, did not pull any box art cards, unfortunately, but we uh, we got some pretty good pulls nonetheless. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you like seeing this unboxing, uh, leave a like, leave a comment on what other stuff you're looking forward to seeing in the future and what decks you're hoping to build from the set. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.